Welcome back, Tightwad Nation. Uh, today we're at my brother-in-law's house. His wife called and said the air conditioner unit was not blowing cool air. Uh, so we're going to look at it, do a couple of diagnostics, and see if we can determine what's wrong. The first thing we did was make sure that the breakers on the inside of the house were not kicked off. So I flipped them off and back on. And then this one actually has a breaker on the outside. Some of them have more of a fuse style box. This one just has a switch. And it is switched on. But the air conditioner is turned on in the house, as you can see. It says 84 degrees in the house. The thermostat's set on 74, so it should be running. Uh, this fan is not running. Also, don't hear the compressor. No kind of hum or buzz coming from the unit. But just to show you one thing to test, uh, if you hear a buzz, you can take a small stick and give the fan a nudge, and it should start spinning and continue to spin uh, if the compressor is running correctly. So. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I think it's the capacitor. First thing we're going to do is remove the panel on the back. It's just got a couple of screws in it. So get those screws removed to reveal all the components and then we will do some testing and see if we can figure out exactly what the culprit is. Alright, we've got our cover off and we can see some of the components now. You have a circuit board at the top on this one. You have the capacitor and you have the connector. I can go ahead and tell right away that it's probably the capacitor. If you notice the top of it is kind of bulged up, uh, they are come factory with a flat top. We're going to go ahead and turn off the power so we can work on the capacitor safely. So on this fuse box, you can see I just switch it to the off section. Uh, if yours has a different kind of fuse with a pull handle on it, you pull out the fuse panel, flip it upside down and stick it back in the hole and that is the off position for the fuses and no electricity can flow through the breaker box to the air conditioner. Capacitors store electricity, so before removing the capacitor, you need to ground it out to make sure that there's no stored power left in it. Uh, what I have is a screwdriver, it has an insulated handle. For extra insulation, I actually wrapped electrical tape around it, uh, just two layers of it, but it is a rubber handle screwdriver, and you just cross it across the leads on the capacitor, go ahead and go across all the leads, get it good and empty. I don't think this one has any power left the way that it's bulged out, uh, but you always want to be safe. And don't remove any of the leads at this time. We're simply going to remove the capacitor by removing these screws on the side over here. I've already taken one out and there's another one right here. Now that we have the bracket removed, you can see the numbers on the capacitor. Uh, you can see that on the second to top line, this is a 45 UF, 5 UF and then 370 BACs. That's the numbers you'll need when you try to find a replacement for this capacitor. We were able to go to a local parts store and find this replacement capacitor. If you, as you see, it's 45 by five, and then it's 370 BAC, which matches our previous capacitor on the air conditioner. So we're gonna unbox this, and we're gonna pull the leads directly from the old capacitor and put them on the new capacitor. If you'll notice, the capacitor has different prongs in each level, but they're labeled. The one on the bottom left says C, top left says Herm, and the top right or the right side says Fan. Your existing capacitor should have the same information listed on it. Match the cables from the old capacitor to the new one, moving one lead at a time to make sure you get them all installed in the exact same location. I swapped all the leads to the new capacitor, reinstalled it using the same bracket as before. I'll take some compressed air and blow out some of these cobwebs and trash in here before removing the plate, but let's test it and see if this new one works. So you can see the air conditioner is turned on inside, the fan is not moving. We're going to turn the power back on. As you can see, the fan spinning in the air conditioner appears to be functioning properly. Uh, the last step is to go inside and make sure it's still cooling and replace the panel back on the air conditioner. This is a fairly easy do-it-yourself project. A typical HVAC service call and repair costs somewhere between $150 and $400. The cost of our capacitor was $20. Uh, it would take about 30 minutes max to complete this project, so your total savings is a range from $130 to $380. If you're a tightwad like me, saving this kind of money is very exciting. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any additional questions, please post them in the comments section below. 
Subscribe to my channel for more do-it-yourself videos that can help you save money around the house.